Holland, the Eisel year, Sunday, November the 6th, 1983. Over the past 50 years, this part of the Netherlands, Flavoland, has been the subject of massive reclamation work. More than 165,000 hectares, or over 400,000 acres, have been reclaimed from the sea. And it's here, on these polders nearly two meters below sea level, that Ford Tractor Operations is preparing for a six-day, six-night plowing marathon. It's almost midnight. At one second into Monday morning, the Ford non-stop 144-hour plowing marathon will begin. In the meanwhile, last-minute preparations to tractor and plows. This Ford 7710 is scheduled to plow non-stop until midnight next Saturday. It's a unique opportunity to gain practical experience with a plowing system new to Holland. A front and rear push-pull plow combination. A severe test for tractor, plows and drivers. into a long winter night, each furrow almost one and a half miles long. Although it's freezing cold outside, the plowman enjoys a comfortable working environment inside the flat deck cab. The Ransom plows are equipped with 14-inch bodies, providing a total working width of seven feet. The 16.9 by 38 Friedestein radial tires help maintain traction on the heavy clay. Six Ford tractor demonstrators are working in shift throughout the period of the marathon, driving or providing backup for fueling and instant help should any problem arise. Every three hours, there's a change of drivers carried out on the move. The turbocharged 7710 keeps up its regular beat with an average plowing rate of 3.42 acres per hour. On the home base headland are the backup trucks, mobile fuel bars it, and a leisure coach ready to supply a warming drink or a snack, and carrying officials to check on the rate and quality of the plowing. On average, refueling takes place every seven hours. So far, three refuelings and eight changes of driver. The 7710 is maintaining a steady working speed of around 4.4 miles per hour. 82 acres ploughed, and so far, everything running smoothly. The Ford Transcontinental makes an ideal hotel for the standby drivers. It's handy, and there's no distance to travel to work. Another day, four more to go. Local farmers are coming along to see just what sort of job is being done. The word has spread that the Ford 7710 is going well. Night fog has been a matter for concern, making it difficult to keep the long furrows straight. But in general, the quality of the work has been good.
Staff from the Institute of Agriculture at Wageningen measure the ploughed areas and assess the quality of the ploughing. And the verdict? Constant ploughing depth with a good shatter and an even finish. Progress of the 1983 ploughing marathon is going according to schedule. During the night, the tractor unearthed a wooden beam seven foot long, probably from a sunken ship. This contributed to a damaged hydraulic hose, which was easily replaced and did not delay progress. Although the Ford cab is equipped with two-way radio and a cassette player, the drivers prefer to concentrate in silence. This is not just a test of tractor reliability, but of driver stamina. That furrow has to be kept straight, and it's a very long furrow. Not too bad. Hi, right, lads. Um, how are you doing? Well, we're about halfway through now, and yeah. uh, it's been doing pretty well. Eh? Yeah. Well, well, we're ahead of schedule. Yeah. Well, what's the state of the ploughing over now? Oh, it's not too bad. You can see how they Yeah. Are they getting it turned over? Yeah. Pretty Less straight for the average. <laughs> now they've reached an area where the reclaimed land has a higher percentage of clay. The job is to maintain the work rate with a minimum wheel slip. A Ford performance monitor has been fitted so that the driver can keep a constant check on ground speed and percentage wheel slip. The driver's aim is to keep to a wheel slip of not more than 10%. Come on, Zoo. Time to get up. You're on next. Half an hour. Yeah, okay. For the welcome but rare sleep-in, local bedrooms have been provided. Two o'clock in the morning and there's been a hard ground frost since sunset, and the forecast is for a further drop in temperature. Hello, JT. What is your fuel situation? Three quarters on tank number two. OK, we'll refuel you on the next run up the field. It's hard going for both men and machine. 46 hours to go. And the checks go on. Ransom's representative inspects the quality of the ploughing. Average 22 centimeters. Constantly. Yeah, constantly. Yeah. And uh, uh, that we've got to go work out yet, but it's. I reckon it's going to be over the 200 hectares. Uh, and uh, uh, yeah, so I, far uh, we've been doing about 30 a day. Have we? Yeah, day. That's good. It's very heavy going in this field. Though. This is the heaviest field, especially up towards that end, which is. Uh, the worst field you have been in. It's the heaviest yeah, so far we've done, yeah. but it's. In actual fact, as we move across the field, it is lightening up. Oh, 
poor Marcus just got out of his bed. Marcus. So, eight hour watch, isn't it? Yeah, I've got the eight hour watch. You've got the eight hour watch. The, the dog watch. That's the worst, <laughs> worst one. The worst one. <laughs> November the 12th, 1983, and the sun is setting on the final afternoon. At midnight, the marathon will be over, but night in November comes early, and there's still another six hours to go. minute to midnight. The place of the final furrow has been estimated and the posts and flags have been erected. A refreshment tent has been set up and the team have prepared a surprise reception for the last shift driver. But somehow he's managed his own quick change. midnight and the marathon is over. <laughs> Champagne, congratulations and celebrations. A successful end to a unique event. Ford Netherlands play host to some local farmers and dealers. In 1968, this Ford 3000 completed its own marathon, 210 acres in the same six-day, six-night period. But now, the 98-horsepower turbocharged 7710 has achieved a significant record demonstrating Ford reliability, Ford power, and Ford versatility. To sum up, the tractor was a four-wheel drive 7710 of 98 DIN horsepower. The plows were Ransom's TSR 300 series, with a three-furrow front mounted and a three-furrow rear mounted. Time ploughed, 144 hours. Total ploughed area, almost 200 hectares, or 492 acres. Average hectares per hour, 1.38, or 3.42 acres. Average ploughing depth, 22 centimetres, or 8.5 inches. Total distance ploughed, 948.2 kilometres, or 589 miles.